Hello and welcome to Point All View. We are approaching the most exciting time in the Chinese space exploration program. Today, the combination of the Chang'e 6 lunar probe and the Long the 5th of March Y8 carrier rocket was transferred vertically to the launching area at the Wenchang Space Launch Center in South China's Hainan province. The integrated rocket on a removable launch pad was rolled out of the vertical assembly building and then safely transported to its launching area. The functional checks, the joint test work and the propellant filling will be carried out before the launch. After Chang'e 6 lunar probe and the Long March 5th carrier rocket arrived at the launch site in January and March, respectively, the assembly, testing and other preparations were successively completed. The probe is set to collect samples from the far side of the moon, marking a mission that will be the first of its kind in human history. The Chang'e 6 lunar probe is scheduled for launch at an appropriate time at the beginning of May, according to the China National Space Administration. The delivery is part of preparations to launch a stack of four spacecraft to land on the far side of the moon, collect samples, and deliver them to Earth. The Chang'e 6 is a follow-up to the 2020 Chang'e 5 mission, which collected 1,731 grams of lunar material from Oceanus Procellarum on the near side of the moon. The new and more ambitious mission will require the support of a relay satellite known as Qiao 2 also known as the Magpie Bridge 2. This is because the far side of the moon never faces Earth due to tidal locking, making direct communication with that lunar hemisphere impossible. The Chang'e 6 mission is expected to launch within the first half of 2024, and is expected to last 53 days from launch till landing. Earlier indications suggest the Chang'e 6 will launch around May. The 8,200 kg probe will launch on a Long March 5th rocket. The spacecraft components were delivered to Hainan Island via Antonofen, 124, and 11 and Y-20 transport planes. These were then transferred to Wenchang Satellite Launch Center. The mission will target a landing in a southern portion of Apollo Crater, located at 150 to 158 degrees west, 41 to 45 degrees south. Apollo lies within the South Pole Aitken Basin, a gigantic ancient impact basin. The lander will attempt to collect 2,000 grams of material, both scooped from the surface and collected by a drill. An ascent vehicle will send a canister of collected samples back into lunar orbit for rendezvous and docking with the service module. The service module will then return to Earth. This mission is a testament to China's ambitious space exploration plans. In the next five years, China plans to launch a robotic craft to an asteroid, build a space telescope to rival the Hubble, and lay the foundations for a space-based gravitational wave detector. The Chang'e 6 mission aims to break through key technologies in lunar retrograde orbit design and control, intelligent sampling on the moon's far side, and ascent from the lunar surface. It will conduct automatic sampling and return from the lunar far side, as well as scientific exploration of the landing area and international cooperation. Chang'e 6 will also carry international payloads including instruments from France, Italy, Sweden, and a CubeSat from Pakistan. Stay tuned for more updates. This year promises to be a super exciting year in space exploration as we dig deeper to reveal the mysteries of the universe.
that's a wrap. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.